Hello and welcome back to the carcynic.com linuxslate.com channel. My name is John and we're going to review yet another inexpensive Chinese radiation detector today. These uh, were purchased from Ally Express and they uh, claim to have an actual Geiger counter tube in them. Um, that's the full length of the unit which should provide good sensitivity. Um, the specifications are on the back here and they do actually have a real color screen. Cool box, the little guy in his gas mask there. Hazaro. It's a Hazaro nuclear. Maybe that's um, a different language. So let's have a look at these and unfortunately even though they're very expensive we're going to find out that they aren't quite what they say they are. When you find these things on Ally Express or other online vendors and they seem to be too good of a deal to be true, very often they are and that is the case that we're going to see here this evening. Let me get into the unboxing video and we'll have a look in here. Um, they do come in different colors. I have seen white, black, and uh, an orange. Nice packaging inside the box. There is a um, USB-C connector cable and a very brief instruction sheet. But let's have a look at the device itself and what it does do and what it doesn't do. So let's see what happens if we try this. Okay, this one seems to be dead or at least not charged out of the box. Perhaps it's just not charged. Put it on charge here. Don't know if you can see it in the video, but there is a red light underneath the plastic here. There's no hole for it or anything. It just kind of glows through the plastic. But I'm not getting any indication on the screen that it is charging and it doesn't seem to power up. Okay, I've unboxed up, actually this is the third one. So we have the first one I tested off camera. Um, we had the second one I opened there that does not seem to to work at all. Um, this one again I'm not sure how well you can see it. I will include a picture um, but this one does have a small yellow charging indicator on the screen. Okay let's power it up. Um, even though it's charging right now they should have enough charge in it to keep going for a while. It comes up in Chinese mode um, what we can do is push and hold the left arrow. Oops, pushed and held too long. Okay, and now we can go down here to English. Oops, and push this. Well, that turns it off. We're going to push and hold the left. Go down to English. Um, notice the language support that it claims to have is pretty good. We, so now we're going to push and hold to select English. And it says real. Um, we'll, we'll see the irony of, of that here in a minute. If we push and hold the right button, we get this other screen here that has two numbers starting at zero and it said pulse. Now again, I do not hear any clicks or counts. I do not know what this screen means. Two sets of red numbers and it says pulse. Much more significant problem with these is they don't actually detect radiation at all. Let's try with my Harlequin cup and saucer. As we bring it closer, I do not hear any clicks. The number is not increasing. Perhaps a little bit. But we're going to see later why it's not actually reacting to this. This is quite highly radioactive. Let me show you my, and I have to hold it off screen here because it will react so quickly and so significantly to 
my cup and saucer that I have to do this off camera. With my Rodnik 3 here, which already sitting over here is reacting, and if I go here, I get a constant stream of counts. It counts up very quickly and goes into alarm mode. Here, and again, doing this off camera so it doesn't begin to alarm right away, is my echo test therapy. And this one will also begin quick counting very quickly. I have the back on this one but it's clicking and counting off. If I expose the tube, I get a very stream of counts and a very quick alarm mode. They both react to this very, very significantly. Now, you'll hear the beeping here because the Rodnik is still on. Let me turn it off. And again, this one, there is still no response. And I will show you that it's not just because the back. The back does have holes in it. Um, interestingly, kind of in random places. But this pl thin plastic um, would not shield this. So, I would like to show you the insides of one of these units. Uh, this one also did not work, did not respond. And I have taken it apart and I'd like to go over exactly what's in it. So these are actually very clever devices. We do have a USB charging port. Um, we have a small lithium ion battery. I've taken the tube out of this one, um, but this is what they claim is a Geiger tube. This I believe is the buzzer. Um, these, this circuitry here is part of a, a small and very efficient high voltage power supply. And I'd like to add that all of this actually does work. Um, I measured approximately 280 volts here on the anode of the tube. Um, you can see the diodes, there's two on this side, two on this side, as well as a number of capacitors here that form a voltage multiplier. There is a current limiting resistor here, and I believe these are the parts that pick the signal off of the tube. On this side we have our three buttons we saw before. We have the red LED that shines through the glass. We have a small microprocessor here, and we do in fact have a color LCD screen, TFT screen. However, if we look at this with the tube removed, we're going to see that it reacts in exactly the same way. Our counts are slowly increasing. I do not hear any beeps or clicks. Oh, there was a click from this one. You might also hear the Rodnik. And if we notice these things, they will always follow the same kind of increasing counts that seem to count up a little bit and then go down when there isn't even a tube in it. Here's the other most, well, two other things that really show me that these do not work and will not work the way they are shipped. First and foremost, the tube was glued to the circuit board, but it was not making contact with the circuit board. Here's a little bit of solder that I applied, but there was no solder on these connections and the contacts on the edge of this so-called tube, and I'll explain that comment in a minute, um, you can see that there is no solder on these at all. Again, I'll furnish better pictures showing this as an insert, but they were not soldered to or touching the board in any way. This was glued in with a substance that they often use to make electronic devices more durable, um, but it was not at all connected to anything on either the anode or the cathode. Also, this is simply a glass tube with two electrodes at the end. There is no center wire, there is no cathode, this does just not, has nothing. There is no central wire in here. I've looked at this one very carefully. So I believe that these are not functional Geiger tubes. So there is no way that this can actually work as a Geiger counter. 